Grabbing your chance. What does it mean? Should you do it when the chance is there? Should you just wait for the next one? And why? Hi, my name is Lord Fimrad, and in this video I would like to share with you some uh, critical insights. If you want your life to really do this, if you want the quality of your life to improve, if you want to experience the nice things in life, you should not say like, ah, maybe next time. You should not let opportunities pass if they are actually what you feel deep inside that you want to do. So if an opportunity presents itself, then go inside, try to feel in here. Is it the right thing for you to do now or not? Don't think like, yeah, but I want to do this and I want to do that, blah, 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 blah. That's the mind. The mind is just like looking for escapes, is looking at previous experiences and basing the decision making on them, but that's in the past. That's behind, that doesn't exist anymore. We are in the present and the future is about to come. And as the world is changing constantly, you cannot only focus on, yeah, but back in the days, yeah, back in the days everything was better, right? No, it was not, it was different. And people then were also complaining. So focus on the now. So when this opportunity comes, you go in here and you feel. And when you feel it, like, yeah, this is the thing I need to do now, then do it. I guarantee you, you will not regret it. Because all the other things that you think that you want to do, you believe that you should be doing, yeah, you, you feel already, like, yeah, I should do this and I should do that. But often we say that with like, mm, like, I don't want to, but I have to. Well, feel in here. Feel in here what's really the next thing that you need to do. And you'll feel. So when the opportunity comes, grab it. Why? Second reason, why? Because the same opportunity will not come again. It's not like you go to the shop today and they have 20 of this, let's say, this thing on the shelf. Oh, I need to orient to the camera, yes. I like, ah, but oh, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, you can do that for something like this. Oh, you don't know what this is? These are like these little sweets, like Tic Tac, something like that. So, those you may find the next day. But even that is not a guarantee. But opportunities in life are not things that are massively produced and laying on the shelf for you to grab the whenever you're in the mood to do it. That's why they call them opportunities. Not like, they don't call them guaranteed possibilities. They're opportunities. So the moment comes, it's there. You grab it, you ride the wave, or you don't. Riding the wave, like the servers. Those who go surfing know that when the wave is there, you need to take it. Because you may have to wait 10, 20, 30 minutes, an hour sometimes, to have a good wave again. It's not like, oh, I'll just wait for the next one. Oh, yeah, and then you're sitting and waiting and waiting. Oh, there's no way. Oh, I need to go, I need to go back somewhere else because I have a, a meeting. Shit. Didn't manage to ride the wave. Yeah, you didn't ride the wave that was there. So, do that. Not just try it. Just start doing it. Listen to this. And I can tell you that most of us have been missing out on beautiful experiences because we were up here and not listening to here. We're not grabbing that opportunity. When you see very successful people and generally successful in business, how come? It's not because they're repeating the same thing over and over again and having better and better results because they're just repeating the same thing and then I get better, different results. No, it doesn't work that way. It's because they see an opportunity and they know it. Coming from here, I just like know it. And, and, and generally people are like, ah, oh, no, that's too risky, that's crazy. That, that. Yeah. Those people who reach top level, 
They're the ones who do the things that most people would not do. Most people, you and I, well, me less now, because I started applying this. So, you, you're still doing this? Staying in that safe, old, known stuff? Yes, that's how you don't get somewhere else, because you stay in that old, known stuff. And that old, known stuff will not improve. It may improve slightly, but you will not make that huge jump. Because you stick to the old, and you focus on the old, instead of listening to that voice telling you, hey, there's that one in a thousand, one in a million opportunity. Take it. I'm not talking about gambling. Because those are people looking for a thrill. No, I'm talking about this deep inner voice saying like, hey, this is the thing to do. And you do that. And yes, if your mind is very active, you may not hear that voice that clearly yet. But the more you focus on emptying your mind, silencing, resting your mind, you will start to hear this voice better, louder and clearer. And then whew, you start doing. And I experienced this myself by listening to that voice and acting on it. And two times I did it. Launching a new program, boom, two clients. Within a few hours. Launching another program for entrepreneurs, boom, two clients, first day. Even before it started, boom, was just there. Then there was finishing a very long article project, like nine entire pages on my website. New Age Children, you probably saw those. It's under tips and tools on my website. And it had been dormant for a year and a half because I couldn't find information for the last part. But I was not meant to post it then. I was meant to post it about a month and a half ago, two months ago. When I got, when I woke up in the morning and was like, go finish it. It was like so clear. So I went. And I found the information that was missing. I finished it. I uploaded the whole bunch. And I got so many positive reactions from people. I never had that before. So many people like, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is great. This but that is exactly what I needed. And now I finally understand my children. I understand myself. I understand this and that. And I know what to do. And I have more clarity. It was incredible. Because I grabbed that opportunity. Me moving out of the Netherlands, moving to a country with better weather. There was an opportunity that came. It was clear. And so I did it. My mind was like, yeah, but how are you going to do this? How are you going to do that? People around me, ah, what are you doing? Just leaving the Netherlands, going to Romania, oh, to a communist country. Old-fashioned communist grey country with only concrete buildings. Eh. Yeah, those were people who were in here living in the past with all the information. When you walk around in Romania, you have beautiful nature. The kind of nature you don't have in Holland. You don't have in Germany. You don't have in many European countries. Actually, I don't know any other European country that has still has such an enormous raw forest, mountain forest. Actually, Romania has the largest natural raw mountain forest in Europe, maybe even in the world. Grey concrete buildings? Yeah, there are a few left. Most of them have been repainted. Some of them have been destroyed. But there are a lot of old traditional buildings from the 20s, from the 1930s, from the 50s, 60s. They are beautiful buildings. And the weather is much better. And life is more relaxed here. And all the things that people were afraid of didn't happen. I'm not saying everything was easy. But I'm still here. Four years later. And I have never been happier. Okay, when I just moved to Holland at the age of 20, 
yes, I was happy, but that was because I left home. So I was finally free. I was done with going to school. I was done with living in a country where people were not understanding me because we were on different wavelengths. And I started with a great job. But also for many people, that was like, oh, what are you doing? You didn't finish school and you're just going there and how are you going to succeed? Well, I did. As soon as I moved, I had this great job at the airport police, responsible for security, responsible for traffic, um, helping out with the implementation and the testing of the Schengen, Schengen, you know, Schengen traveling without passport within Europe. Those protocols, implementing them, testing them, um, anti pickpockets division, plenty of interesting things. And I love aviation, I love airplanes. So I was having the wonderful job, one of the best jobs I ever had in paradise, being at an airport. Come on! Especially when you're young. Oh, and wearing a uniform, having a good salary. That was all super cool. I was 20, 21. What, what can you believe that a young person wants? To live the dream. So, grabbing opportunities, listening to that voice in here and then taking the step is what you need to do if you want things to change, to improve. And whatever you do, you will always have moments of learning, life lessons, difficult situations. But that's normal. So, do you want to have those well, if nothing is really changing and you only get some shit. I mean, by shit, I say life lessons, difficult situations to deal with. Or would you like to have those while actually you're starting to live the dream? You start to have new, more rich experiences, better quality life, more fun, meeting new people who are actually much more interesting than all those people that you knew before. Because you're starting to change, so you meet new people who actually resonate more with you, who really understand you. You can understand where you're coming from and understand what you want. People with the same interest, because your interests will start to change. Yes, you will change. Everything is changing, so you better start going with the flow, riding the wave. So stop being stuck in the past. Start moving forward. And of course, if you need help with this, contact me. Start with a Soul Answer session, which is basically where I help you to get to that voice and to hear it for the first time. And if you cannot hear it, I can hear it for you, a channel for you, transmit it for you. And then you can start from there. And of course, I can also teach you more in a, in a trajectory, in a program, how to do this, step by step. But start doing something. So stop sitting still and complain about your situation not improving while you're not moving forward. If you like this video, put a like, subscribe, register to my newsletter if you want, start following, and share. Join the Facebook group, intuitive.me. So you get the newest videos the soonest and share with me your experiences, what you've been doing and ask for help if you need help. See you next video. Have a wonderful day.